a very good morning to all the students of class 3 my name is prerna and i'm your english teacher and today from your english book skyline we are going to read a play and before we start reading the play i'll show you certain things in my hand and i want you to identify what these things are so what is this this is a carry bag right and then uh, what is this very simple this is a newspaper and uh, what about this what is this that i'm holding this is a diary and what about this this is an envelope and the last thing that i want to show you is this what is this so this is a visiting card now tell me what is common in all the things that i've shown you whether it was a carry bag whether it was a diary whether it was an envelope or a visiting card can you guess what is common in all these things so i'll tell you if you've not been able to guess till now so the common thing in about all the things that i've shown you is that all of them are made of paper but uh do you realize or have you ever wondered that how much time or how does this paper reaches us is it a very easy process or does it take a lot of time for paper to be made so let us try and find out in this chapter which is a play so here we go so as i told you that this is chapter number 11 of your book which is a play and the name of the play is trees or paper all right so uh, uh before uh, you know we start reading the play as i told you that we are going to first talk about the process of how this a piece of paper how does it reaches us so the first thing that has uh, that uh, takes place or the first step in the production of a paper is that large number of trees are cut and then what happens that the logs of the uh, trees so logs are the cylindrical shape wood so the logs of the trees are sent to the paper mills so you can see these logs they are being sent to the paper mill and then what happens the bark is removed and wood is chipped into small pieces and washed so this process of removing the bark is called as debarking so you can see debarking taking place and it is being uh, the wood is chipped into small pieces how is it chipped into very small pieces by using a chipping machine then what happens then the cleaning of the fiber takes place so you can see the cleaning of the fiber taking place and what happens then so what is the first step that occurs uh, that that takes place in the production of the paper that large number of trees are cut into logs and then what happens that the debarking takes place that is the bark is removed and then it is cut or it is chipped into small pieces after that the fiber is removed and the wood is bleached and whitened using chemical so you can see this entire process taking place wherein the fiber is removed from the wood and it is bleached bleaches giving a different color to something so what is the color that is given to the paper mostly it is white color which is given to the paper and after that the bleached fiber that is now the fiber which is uh, you know bleached into white color that is pulped and uh, paper is rolled out into long large sheets so uh, the paper when it first comes out it is not like a size you know that we see in our notebooks or something it is not like this it is not something like this it is uh, large like the logs of um, Uh, the trees are cut similar sizes sheets are uh, brought out and then they are cut into small pieces to get an appropriate size so if uh, you know like the different sizes of paper you have a4 size you have a3 size and then you have small papers like the post uh, postits that you have so paper is cut into 
different sizes and then it is brought to the market so imagine that paper making is such a tedious process it is not like it is not a very simple process and where does this paper comes from what is the source of paper it is the trees so now we proceed with reading of the play which is chapter number 11 of your book and the title is trees or paper here is the list of the uh, characters in the play so the main character is velu who is a poor worker and then there's lakshmi who is velu's wife and velu has two children he has a son named raju and daughter named arasi then there is another character whose name is sinu he is a workman or a foreman and uh, a workman then there's art teacher there's a foreman and then there is timber merchant so these are the list of characters so uh, let's do a quick recap of the characters so it is velu and his family so velu has velu is a poor worker he has a wife named lakshmi and he has two children name of the son is raju and name of his daughter is arasi and what is velu's wife name lakshmi then there is another workman whose name is sinu and then there's a foreman there's an art teacher and there's a timber merchant so let us start reading the play now so this is scene 1 velu a poor workman is sitting with his family to have breakfast velu's wife lakshmi is serving a breakfast of rice and a thin dal raju so the first person to speak in the play is raju who is velu's son so raju says appa i need a i need to buy a sketchbook today my art teacher is angry with me all the other children have sketchbooks velu can't you use your rough notebook isn't it for drawing why do you need a separate sketchbook for that arasi who is arasi velu's daughter so she says we do appa our art teacher is very strict you will need to buy a sketchbook for me too then what happens velu he asks his children what is the cost of a sketchbook arasi it cost 22 rupees appa lakshmi who's lakshmi velu's wife 22 rupees i can buy a kilogram of rice in 22 rupees raju i understand amma but we have to follow rules at school everyone must have a sketchbook lakshmi and velu look at each other their eyes are sad velu i will try find some work today maybe i can get your sketchbook tomorrow so what is happening in scene 1 that velu he is sitting with his entire family eating breakfast so who all are there there is lakshmi velu's wife there is arasi velu's uh, daughter and then there is raju velu's son so raju he tells his father that we need a sketchbook and the cost of the sketchbook is 22 rupees and we need it because it is as per our school rules and regulations so uh, uh, raju is seconded by or uh, raju is further uh, you know elaborated his uh, demand for the sketchbook is uh, further taken by uh, Ra uh, by his sister arasi she says to his father that yes we do require a sketchbook because our Our, our teacher is also very strict and also that is as per the rules and regulations of the school that every child must have a sketchbook so raj uh, raju's father velu he asked that what is the cost of the sketchbook so the children the two children raju and arasi they reply that it is the cost of the book is 22 rupees now velu and his wife lakshmi are a little tense they are also very sad because for them 22 rupees is a very high amount but velu he tells his children that i will try and find some work today so that i can get you a sketchbook so let us see what happens in scene 2 of the play Raju's class the art teacher enters the classroom art teacher good morning children 
have all of you got your sketchbooks today we are going to draw a picture to show that we should look after our environment think of what we can do to save our environment let us discuss first and then start drawing who is going to come up with the first idea student 1 ma'am we should not waste water i am going to draw a leaky tap and draw a cross over it our teacher that's good any other ideas raju ma'am we shouldn't cut trees trees are important for life on earth our teacher very good raju have you brought your sketchbook today raju says ma'am my father has promised to get one today so our teacher says you always say that raju when is he actually going to get you one raju says sorry ma'am he will surely get it today so what has happened in scene 2 scene 2 is raju's art and craft class wherein the art teacher tells the children that today we are going to draw something about saving our environment so the students they come up with different ideas like one of the students gives the idea about not wasting water and then raju says that ma'am i want to draw something about saving our trees so our teacher is very impressed with the ideas and also the idea which is given by raju but then she asks raju that are, are you carrying your sketchbook today so raju says no ma'am even today i am not able to carry my sketchbook but yes my father will surely buy one so let us see what happens in scene 3 of the play Velu is standing at the timber merchant's office. So timber merchant is a businessman who deals with wood. Okay, if the merchant gives him some work, Velu can get Raju his sketchbook. Merchant, next, what is your name? Velu says, Velu sir, merchant. Have you done this work before? Velu says, No sir, I used to work as a gardener. These days. not many people have gardens we don't have enough water either sir i have no work now mohan says this work is not easy you have to be very strong to cut trees and load them on the lorry will you be able to do that velu says yes sir merchant turning to his foreman so is a foreman a person who supervises the work of the other laborers so merchant he tells the foreman give him an axe and send him with the others so now what has happened velu is able to get a job what is the job his job is to cut the trees and load the logs into the truck scene 4 velu and other workmen are in the field foreman says now get to work all of you We have to clear all five trees and load them in the lorry by evening. Sinu, he Sinu is another worker. So he tells, "Come on, Velu, you start with this tree." Velu looks up at the tree. He can see a few squirrels playing. So you can see this is the tree which Velu is supposed to cut. So there is a squirrel in. There are uh, two, three squirrels on it. Velu, uh, he is now speaking to himself. Those squirrels look so happy. Sinu says, "Look, there is a woodpecker's nest in the trunk." Velu says, "There is a weaver's bed nest on this branch. I wonder where these birds will go when we cut this tree." Velu drops the axe and leaves the place. So what happens when Velu looks at the tree? He sees that a lot of animals and birds are residing in that tree. So he feel he is not convinced. to cut that tree because that tree is a home to a lot of animals and birds and he drops the axe and he leaves four men velu where are you going get to work velu says sorry sir i can't cut this tree i am a gardener a person who plants saplings i am not someone who destroys trees so velu he says to the foreman that i cannot do this work of cutting the
trees because I cannot destroy someone's home because I am a gardener and I am the one who may plants saplings so that they turn into a beautiful tree. So how can I destroy them? Now what happens in scene five? Lakshmi is waiting for Velu to come home. The children are doing their work. Velu enters. Raju says, "Appa is here. Appa has come back home." Velu said, "Asked his son, 'How did you ma manage in the drawing class today?'" Raju says, "My teacher gave me a page from an old sketchbook." Velu, "That's very kind of her. Show me what you drew." Now Raju he shows the drawing to his father. This is what I drew, Appa. My teacher loved it. We know that we have to save our environment. She asked us to draw something that shows this idea. Velu says, "Raju, I asked a timber merchant for work. He asked me to cut trees. I just could not. I walked away." Can you wait for a few more days for your sketchbook? I will look for some other work tomorrow. Raju says, "Yes, Appa. The next class is a week away." So Raju tells that, "Yes, Father, I can wait. Wait because the next art class is next week." Velu stares at the picture Raju had drawn. So, from in this chapter, we have learned that how paper is made. But another important, a sad part is that this paper is made cutting a number of trees. A single sheet of paper is made by cutting a number of trees. But do you think that is good? No, not at all. Because this way, we are destroying our nature completely. and imagine we are also destroying the homes of so many birds as well as animals so next time whenever you are doing something on a paper you are writing something in your notebook or maybe you are drawing something imagine how many trees were cut to make this single sheet of paper and today make a promise to yourself that you will never ever waste paper and you should also tell your friends and to your brother and sister to not waste paper so thank you so much i hope all of you enjoyed reading this play thank you